Hey, y'all. Thank you for coming to my channel. I am Saving Grace, 999 Tarot. Here to do a general reading for the collective. Don't know what's coming out, but I'm starting with the What's the Tea Oracle deck. And we're going to work around that, okay? Again, it will be general, so please take what resonate leader is. Don't try to force it to fit. Don't do that. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead, hit the subscription button, become a part of the family. I would love to have you. I do curse. I do. I ain't gonna lie. I do. May curse a little bit. May curse a lot. Just really depends. But I'm definitely gonna curse. Okay, so. You don't want to hear me cursing. <clears throat> which is cool. It's cool. Okay. You might not want to watch me. And if you wear your feelings on your sleeve, again. You might not want to watch me. Because I'm not finna sugarcoat this shit. To all my returning viewers, hey y'all. What's the motherfucking deal? Where y'all been? Now I'm just playing. It's where I been, huh? I know. What's the motherfucking deal? Thank you guys for the love and the support. The likes, comments, shares, subscribes. Thank y'all for allowing me to do readings for y'all. Thank y'all for the donations and the gifts, which are always appreciated. And thank y'all for fucking with me. Y'all already know I fucks with y'all, so we finna go ahead and get started. So, go on, get your blood. I got mine. Get your drink, whatever you need. Remember, general, okay? So, don't force it to fit. Spirit bless the collective with the messages that they need to hear, not what they want to hear when it comes to this reading. Protect me as I channel the messages for the collective times. Good. Anybody sending any negative energy my way, I ask that that energy is returned to sender a thousandfold. In Jesus' name, a mint, a mint, and a mint. So let's get into it. I hope you guys have been having a beautiful week thus far. I know I've been a little MIA, but uh, I had to, I got me a new desk. I did, as y'all can see. Mm -hmm. And I love it. I love it. It's an L shaped desk and it got a shelf made onto it. Well, I had to put it together, y'all, baby. When I tell y'all, a bitch was tired last night. Ooh, but nigga, we made it. No, I'm just, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so let's get into it. So, what's the message? What do the collective need to know or be aware of at this time? Show me what I need to see. What's the tea? Bars. Look, I'm early. Shit. Give me my 16 balls. <clears throat> I can't rap, y'all. <laughs> so let's see. Somebody who want to be you bad collective. Because I, I don't saw impersonator. I don't saw copying. Like there is somebody who wants to be you so motherfucking bad. But I don't think it's working. <laughs> I don't think it's working. And they watching you from fake accounts and shit. Trying to study you. Trying to study your little steelo. It ain't working now. I don't think it's working. What's the mess? Child, what's the message? Child. What's the tea spirit? What are we discussing today? What are we discussing today? Threatening... Spiritual hater, baby. I cannot make it up. Look, see what I'm saying? Y'all done moved on. And because you have moved on, and you probably doing better now that you done moved on, baby. Y'all got somebody, like, spiritually hating on y'all. For real. They are so threatened by you. You got threatening, and it says intimidating, threatened, bothered. And then you have spiritual hater. Hates on your spirituality. Light, power, magic. Well, light, magic, power. But y'all get it. What did I say? So, <laughs> this is, I mean, it's the same message, but y'all know I haven't used this deck in a long time, but it's the same message coming out. Somebody that you have either walked away from or somebody who wished that they could be you but could never be you is threatened by you. And they hating on you because you shining. They hating. And, and if for some of y'all, if this is an ex, this ex is intimidated by you and they threatened by your spirituality. Mm-hmm. So they probably out here lying on you, talking shit, all that. You know what I'm saying? But all they doing is making themselves look stupid because you have moved on. You've moved on. What else? What's going on? Child. <laughs> this why they mad. They broke ass because they broke. That's why they mad because they broke collected. They probably need to hold something. That's why they mad at you. You won't let them hold nothing. So it don't necessarily uh, it don't necessarily have to be an ex. It could be a, a friend that you don't fuck with no more, a family member you're no longer fucking with. It, it could be anybody. Whoever this person is, they broke as fuck. But you might not be. You might not be broke, and they mad at you because you're not broke like them. Make it make sense. 
Make it make sense. Look, see, maybe if they stop all these bad habits that they got, they may be able to save some money. I'm just saying. See the bad habits. Mm -hmm. Drugs, addictions, toxicities. These are bad habits, too. <laughs> oh, my blunt went out, baby. No, man. <laughs> okay, what else? Child and whoever they are, they, they, they so bothered by you that they cry. You hear me? They cry for you. Now, for some of y'all, this is definitely an ex crying over you with their broke ass. Shit. Sad, hurting, upset that you don't want to be with them no more, but they ain't trying to do nothing with their life. Oh, my God, baby. When I tell y'all this heat, I got my window cracked in here. But this heat, hold on. I got to let this bitch down. Hold on. Okay. Baby, that heat was not playing coming through that little crack. Shit. Fuck that. So. Let's keep going. But there is somebody crying over you. This could be the same person or this could be different people. Y'all know how this go, okay? So, I'm going to pull four more and then we're going to clarify this. But I guarantee you, whoever this is crying over you, they sad because you don't want to fuck with them no more. And again, this could be platonic or romantic, child. But whoever they are, they, threat they feel threatened by you. You probably didn't even do nothing to this person. You probably just living, you know, you probably somebody who's spiritual. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't going to say you walking around, you know, talking to everybody. Namaste. Love and light, everyone. You know what I'm saying? You're not doing that. <laughs> but because you've chosen to walk a particular path, you shine from within. It's like a different type of shine. And whoever these people are, they intimidated. <laughs> they are definitely intimidated. What else? What else do the collective need to know on this good old hump day? Some of y'all with some friends, you got some snakes in your camp. You hear me? I ain't trying to know your business. I ain't trying to fall in love with you. <laughs> but maybe he can love you different. Because I'm just trying to fuck with A. And girl, I'm trying to hit that one time. <laughs> I don't know why that song just came to me, baby, but... Y'all got a friend. This is a karmic friend, too. This person want to sleep with you. Okay? They just want to hit it one time. Male or female, just one time. One time, and they don't, you ain't got to tell nobody. They won't tell nobody. They just want to hit it one time. <clears throat> but whoever this person is, you can't trust them. It says, can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Now, the secret competition it's coming from the spiritual hater that's intimidated by you. So, again, this could be all... This is definitely not all one person because these are friends. And for some of y'all, this is a romantic interest. So, again, put it where it go for you. But, baby, it says secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Baby, it's time to cut their grass. And y'all probably already know who this person is that's, that's in competition with you because it's like... Something good to happen for you. You tell this particular friend, and you know they 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 might clap for you a little bit, but then next, oh, excuse me, next thing you know, they doing the same thing, or they done did something similar to what you done did. It's like, bitch, why is you? And you like, you know what? <clears throat> Maybe I inspired this person, you know, to want to do better. No, they in competition with you. So stop telling people your your wins. Okay, stop. Sharing information with people and you, you know, because I got a feeling that whoever this is, you got a little inkling. You got an inkling about this person. You know this person in competition with you, so stop fucking with them. You don't need no reason to stop fucking with somebody. Just stop fucking with them. If they ask, just tell them that right now your mind is in a different place. You you are, uh, you on a, just tell them you're on a spiritual journey and you just need some alone time. Okay? Free game. <laughs> but yeah, y'all got some people around y'all that y'all might not need around y'all. I'm just letting you know. Then you got an ex that's crying over you. This person's struggling financially. I'm telling. And for some of y'all, whoever this spiritual hater is that's in, that's bothered by you, it could be somebody connected to your ex. This per and if it is a friend, that is, it could be an ex friend. This person want to fight you. I know, I know if they want to fight, all they got to do is pull up. I know. Y'all got them paws. I know. But, baby, obviously they don't really want to fight. They act like they do. When, when they talk to other people, they, you know, they they, they, they act like they want to fight, but they don't. Mm-mm. Because the motherfucker really want to fight you. 
would fight you. They wouldn't talk about it. I'm just saying. I'm from a different breed. Oh, no. This, 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 this internet beef shit. I don't know where that came from. Baby, in my, when we were growing up, <clears throat> if you had a problem with somebody, you went to fight them. Because we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have the internet. You went to fight. And if you, if you didn't go to them, when y'all saw each other at school, on site, it was on site for real back then. Because that's how we had. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, <laughs> It's so many internet gangsters these days, and y'all, look, y'all got an offer coming to y'all. So, that's a good thing. You know what I'm saying? That's a good thing. Y'all got an offer coming towards y'all. Oh, mm, and this jackpot. <laughs> this is going to be a good-ass offer. Oh, and for some of y'all, y'all could have came into some money or something, and whoever this person is that's broke, they mad that you won't help them. And they know you got it. They know you got it. Baby, look, for certain. Forces things on you, forces their way in, uses force to get what they want. Child, I'm telling whoever this broke, because it's falling right up on the broke ass. Whoever this broke person is, and this got to be somebody in your life, like this connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion, they need your help. And because they're not getting your help, they feel some type of way. This person finna resort to kissing your ass. You hear me? <laughs> Damn, I got to go kiss this motherfucker ass just to get them to help me with this damn light bill. Well, I mean, my thing is you wouldn't have to kiss somebody ass if you were genuine. I'm just saying, if you were genuine, that's why the universe is always telling us, not just y'all, but us, be authentically you. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. When you live a fake life, you're going to get fake results. They may seem good. You know what I'm saying? Because the devil got to make it look good. Got to make it look good. But trust and believe. It's going to fall apart eventually. Because God didn't ordain that. You being fake. You know what I'm saying? So, I always be real. But baby, y'all, whoever this... <laughs> and again, it's still under the bottom of the deck. Y'all have came into some type of money. Or you about to come into it. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> I like the big. So... Winning money, got rich, inheritance, unexpected money. So, y'all about to come into some cha-ching. Or you have. She and somebody wants some. <laughs> it's me. I want some. But y'all definitely have an offer coming towards you. I don't know if this is a job offer. I don't know if it's a love offer. But you definitely have a, a past person crying over you. And this person is finna resort to kissing your ass if they have to. Because they just, <clears throat> they need you right now. It could be the, the past person that's broke. Mm -hmm. And they need you right now. And then you could also have a friend who is in secret competition with you. And you don't really fuck with this person no more. But they still in competition with you. And they, they hating on you though, spiritually. Why? Because you intimidate them. Why? Because your light irritate their motherfucking demons. Period. Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. You're not talking about this person. You don't even bring this person up, I'm hearing. You don't even you don't even think about this person. You may think about what y'all used to have as for, especially if y'all were friends. You whatever this person did or said about you, it was a shock to you. Mm-hmm. Kinda kinda hurt you a little bit. <clears throat> but but you made a conscious decision to just move on with your life. They didn't expect that. They didn't expect that. They thought you was going to still want to be their friend even though they showed you they was a snake. And you basically showing them, nah, I'm good. Just go and do whatever you was over there doing. Stay over there with them. And I'm going to just walk my path by myself. And one thing about this spiritual path, you got to walk it by yourself. You can't bring people along with you unless they headed in the same direction. Family, friends, lovers, children. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now... 18 or less, you're responsible. You're responsible. But after 18, I mean, hey. Oh. Oh, that's my dryer. Hold on. <laughs> okay. I'm like, what the fuck is that? But anyway, yeah. I mean, if you have stopped talking to a particular person, but you know that this person is going around talking about you, lying on you, shit like that, that's this person that's hating on you. This karmic friend, that's who that is. You know what I'm saying? But... Let's get into the clarification of it. Because I want to be nosy now. Who crying? Who crying? Which deck? Do I, okay, I guess I'll use this one. 
Seven of Cups. Shit, somebody who probably had you as an option. Mm -hmm. It's an ex. <laughs> it's an ex. Worth it. Savannah Christina. Yeah. This is somebody that did not appreciate your worth when they had you. Mm -hmm. Look, I can't make it up. And see, you don't set boundaries. You probably don't block this person literally and energetically. And you have moved on with your life. <laughs> and they never saw that shit coming. I mean, they kind of probably... You probably told them, oh, bitch, I'm, I'm going to leave you. I'm not going to fuck with you no more. But I can't believe that shit because you kept taking them back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this time, mm -mm, baby, they like, damn. She for real or he for real. I can't. I don't know how to get in touch with them. I don't know where they at. Don't nobody act like they want to tell me that. Like, say if y'all got mutual friends, don't nobody even want to tell this person that they done talk to you. And probably have talked to you today, but they just know. You done with this situation. Like, you really done with the situation. And then the mutual friends, like, look, we got your back. Now, you may have a karmic friend that is letting this other person know that you, like, in a good place. Because, it, remember, we saw Jackpot. And they broke. And they need your help. But they don't know how to get in touch with you. <laughs> so, they trying to come up with a plan to come. Look, they, they finna try to come bring you your flowers. They finna do whatever they gotta do to get you to help them because they finna come kiss your ass. Mm -hmm. But see, they didn't know, they didn't understand that when y'all were friends, all they had to do was be genuine. They didn't have to be fake with you. You probably wouldn't mind helping their ass if this is a friend. You probably wouldn't have mind helping, helping them had they just been a real friend. <laughs> but once they showed you who they truly were, like, oh, <sighs> I cannot make it up. Six of Pentacles, and it flew right on top of Cormac Friends. If these people were not in competition with you and they didn't feel some type of way towards you, you probably wouldn't have no problem helping these people. Six of Pentacles, you wouldn't mind giving to these people. But why would you give to somebody who don't like you? Why would you have somebody that's in competition with you? Why would you even want to, to want to help them? You know what I'm saying? And you may used to help this person. You probably done already helped this person to some degree. Look, and you stopped. Ten of swords. And you stopped. Hmm. And I kind of feel like if this is a friend that you were really close to, they stabbed you in the bank. And like I said, you know who this is. You already know they hating on you. You already know they in competition with you. And of course, this is not for everybody. <clears throat> so take what resonates. But this karmic friend situation, you already know that this person was hating on you and in competition with you because you chose to change your life for the better. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they betrayed you. Whether it was talking about you, lying on you, whatever it was, it was a betrayal. And it probably hurt. And you just moved on with your life. And now this person don't have any access to you <laughs> whatsoever. And they hating on you. And they mad. But it is what it is. What else about this karmic friend? Because I was finna clarify crying over you, but... Spirit, I guess, need y'all to know about this karmic friend because for some of y'all, this could be somebody that you c currently still fucking with. And you probably helping this person. This person live with you. Somebody, my spirit guy said, the bitch live with him. <laughs> so I don't know who you living with. I mean, who you got living with you? And if you got a dude or a girl, what, uh, whatever, male or female, I don't know your gender. <clears throat> but you got somebody staying with you and you 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 kind of wonder is this person genuine is, are they really your friend are they using you they using you boo and and you might not even know what's going on in your house when you're not there especially if you got a man or a woman i'm just saying I'm just saying, this person is a snake you can't trust this person so if you do got somebody staying with you they need to go they, but they broke <laughs> that's why they child. Look, maybe get him a room for a week or two. Well, no, don't even do that because that's not your job. <laughs> they need to do something. You need to get him out of your house. Whoever you are, you need to get this friend or this karmic friend out your house. Because if they haven't betrayed you yet, they about to. I'm just letting you know. Karmic friends. What do the collective need to know? This is somebody you currently giving to right now. Four pimp, you need to let they ass go. In the reverse. Four pimp, baby, spirit said you, at one point you was trying to hold on to this friendship. Let it go. 
Nigga be talking about this. Nigga be rapping about that. They ain't even got no scratch. Oh, lame ass nigga, you whack. Bitch, you ain't got no juice. And nobody believes you yet. Let this person go. Y'all have already been thinking about it. Y'all have already been thinking about it. And Spirit said, as soon as you let this friend go, things will change for the better. <laughs> so I don't know what you're going through and who this person is. They ain't got no juice. They ain't got no juice, so they drain and trying to drain you of yours. Look, I cannot make this shit up. Spirit is saying it is time for you to free yourself from this person or these people, whoever they are. What they, I mean, karmic, I mean, I, I'm just saying this is friends because it says karmic friends, associates, acquaintances, co-workers, people that you talk to, people that you give to. But for some particular person, this is somebody who lived with you. Spirit said, it's time for you to free yourself from this. It's time for you to have a fresh start. This person needs to start over. They need to reset their life and try again. And this time, if they stop trying to get over, this is somebody who always try to get over on people. And you know that. <laughs> I just heard they didn't have nowhere else to go. That's not your fault. That's not your fault. It may be a reason why they done hit rock bottom and didn't have nowhere else to go. But you rescued them. And you know they ain't got no juice. Living their life disguise. Exaggerate for these hoes. Oh, you really think you cold? Bitch, you ain't got... Stunting ass person. And you know don't nobody like this person or trust this person, but you don't want to... You know, they done lost everybody. Everybody done turned their back on them. I, don't, I just want to be a friend and show them that somebody girl. They gonna do you the same way. Watch. Nine of Cups. Yeah. Celebration and joy, contentment, emotional fulfillment. <laughs> Once you let whoever this person go, all your wishes will be fulfilled. All of them. Because, again, if you got somebody in secret competition with you in your camp, you don't think they sat trying to say, like, on purposely, you don't think they're purposely trying to sabotage you? No matter what it is. Whether it's praying against your for your downfall, praying against your come up, whatever it is. You don't think if they in competition with you, they not praying for your downfall? It's time to free themselves. Once you do, you're going to get what you want. And you're going to be like, I knew it. If you know it, why why they still staying with you then? If you know it, why are you still fucking with them? Again, the spiritual path is a... I ain't going to say it's a lonely one because you can find people who... Or going in the same direction. But usually when you make the conscious decision to walk a spiritual path. People that you used to resonate with. You ain't going to resonate with them. You just not. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't go. And this is the case of somebody that don't need to go where you're going. But you're trying to hold on to them. Mm -hmm. So. What is this offer that the collective is about to come into? What is this? Oh, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Cha. Some of y'all depressed? Are you depressed? What are you depressed about? You got an offer coming. Maybe this. Why? Because the Queen of Cups in the reverse is somebody who is very sad. <laughs> um, you're not lit. Like the Queen of Cups is intuitive, but. It's like when you depressed and sad, you're not able to listen to your intuition. You're not able to hear it. And if you do hear it, you don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Um, what does this say? Protective, compassionate. Okay, so for some of y'all, this offer is going to be somebody that's going to be... This offer is somebody coming into your life that's going to change things for the better. Especially if you've been in a like a, 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 a kind of like a sad place. Um, you don't have to tell me if you was in a sad place, but if you are in a sad place, and this could be about anything, work, love, or life, whatever you in this sad place about, it's about to change. And it's about to change for the better. Because what, can I make it up? Justice. Whatever this offer is coming to you, it's going to, and remember before I started clarifying offer, I had saw, um, what was it called that said celebration? I, was it, I don't know if it was a four ones or what. No, it was not the four ones. <clears throat> anyway, remember I saw that card that says celebration, joy, happiness. That's what this offer is. So currently, 
the offer is coming to somebody who is not in such a a happy place right now. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that you you are in a better place and you're not getting no offer. I'm not saying that. But what I am saying, this offer that's coming to somebody, this is somebody who you it's like you're ready to give up. You just ready to give up and don't. Don't give up because that offer is right there. It gets worse before it get better. Know that. Justice. All this about to turn around. What if you, you were looking for a job? You were looking for a place. You was trying to get a car. You was trying to get a loan. Whatever it is. A, a relationship with your kids. Whatever. You about to get that. It's finna get better. Okay. Flossing Mike Jones. Who? Who? You! Uh. See, that's why I can't listen to my, my, my Apple playlist. I go your home, girl. She just don't bust in the door. What else? Chakra Queen! Whoever you are. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, and I'm not finna preach to you. But you said about a past person. You is. And it's okay. It's okay. If that if that don't apply, let it fly. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to that person that's still sad over somebody from their past. That person's sad over you too. They is. And they come they'll be back. Look at this. They'll be back. That's what this offer is. You could be sad because, you know, you don't understand why a situation with this a particular person didn't work. Whether it's a husband, a, a wife, a boyfriend, girlfriend, baby mom, baby dad, whatever this person was to you. That's why you said. Oh, it's okay. Y'all gonna get back together. Y'all gonna get back together. Y'all heard Denim growl. I kind of feel like this person is mad. They could be mad at themselves, you know, for whatever happened between you and them. Because, again, they crying over you. Just as much as you crying over them. You may not think they crying over you, but they are. They'll be back, see what I'm saying? And they coming back with an apology, page of cups. So don't worry. Don't worry. Things happen. Everything happened for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Maybe y'all needed uh, some time apart or something. I don't know. Maybe you needed to learn a lesson. Maybe they needed to learn a lesson. I don't know, but they'll be back. You don't have to cry. Look, two of wands. Spirit is asking you to be optimistic. Be optimistic about this next chapter in your life. Calculated risk, careful planning. <laughs> confirmation. Be careful with the Virgano. See what I'm saying? Be careful what you pay for, pray for because you just might get it. You gonna get it. Spirit saying be optimistic. See, see, every time I say that, she start barking. You need to be optimistic. Just because it ain't happening when you want it to happen, don't mean it's not gonna happen. Okay. So, and then you got the hangman. Yeah, you and this person both. Y'all could have been bumping heads because of the way that you were looking at the situation. That whatever you're going through, spirit is saying, look at it from a different situation. This this separation or this time apart was needed. It was, but they will be back. They will be back. So you know, be optimistic. And, you know, just just look at it from a different perspective. Instead of feeling like you lost and the world is over and you don't know how. I mean, I get it. I done been through a heartbreak myself. You want to just end it. You don't want to be with. You don't want people around you. All of that. I get it. But I promise you, it get better. It get better. It's going to get better. There's there's an offer from somebody from your past coming towards you. Um, It could be a Pisces with the hangman here. And baby, it's... Definitely got can be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, because you got the the uh, Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Six of Cups, and then a fire uh, fire sign with the Two of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but strong Pisces. So whoever this person is, they think about you all the time, just as much as you think about them. Okay, and they'll be back. So stop crying, stop worrying, stop stressing, and use this time to work on you. Don't be so caught up on somebody that you feel like you can't go on. Because if, if you act like that, you're going to stay in that situation a whole lot longer. I'm just let, let me give you some game about when the universe removes somebody out your life. Because let me drink some coffee. 
Y'all thirsty. <laughs> y'all just want it what y'all y'all want what y'all want when y'all want it. And and that's fine. But the universe say no. Use this time to 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 change some things within yourself. Even if you're not the one that gotta learn the, the lesson, still look at it from a positive perspective. I don't know what you and this person had going on, but obviously a separation was needed. You know what I'm saying? So instead of trying to um feel instead of being sad because something didn't work out or a person left, girl, you ain't that damn thirsty. Shit, that ain't nobody but the damn devil. And then gonna come sit right next to me. I, baby, come get them. Please. I need a break. Yeah. But anyway, it, the past person coming back. But those that won't. Now, for y'all that don't, please just exclude all that, okay? Because that wasn't for you. But I got to do my job. So, moving on. You definitely got somebody threatened by you. So, let's see who this is. <laughs> somebody is definitely bothered and they hate on you. They ain't on your spirituality. I mean, it ain't really you per se. It's your spirituality. You know, you just happy. You you know, you shining. You full of joy. You you blessed and highly favored. You know, they don't like this shit. Mm -mm. They, they threaten. Who is this that feel threatened by the collective? Oh, Jesus. It's a high priestess in the reverse. <laughs> This is a high priestess in the reverse, baby. This is somebody who is into black magic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dang, this is somebody into black. Ooh, look. Baby, y'all are total opposites. Y'all are total opposites. That's why they feel threatened. This is somebody who live in darkness. They breathe darkness. And look at you all at light. Mm, mm, mm. That's why they bother. Y'all are two totally different people. That's and this is who spiritually hate on you. Mm, mm, mm. They wish they could be in this divine ass energy like you. They wish. But they can't. Especially if they're in the dark magic. <laughs> this also could be somebody who, uh, look, paid to sort the line. <sighs> this also, I was going to say, this also could be somebody who your past person could have been creeping with. They was like a mistress in the past, but, you know, things came to light and they were exposed. And now you know exactly who this person is because they was lying on you. Yeah, the page of swords in the reverse. This person that was lying on you is the person who's bothered. <clears throat> and it's going to be different for everybody. And I kind of feel like if it's a, if it's a, 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 like a third party that your person was dealing with. They probably did black magic on this person to get this person because they felt some type of way because of you. Now, again, I don't know why they call themselves lying on you. Maybe they knew you. Maybe y'all know of each other. I don't know. But, baby, they regret it. They regret coming for you. Whoever this third party is, they regret it. They regret lying on you. They regret throwing magic on you or trying to. Probably because that shit is backfiring. What else? One more. Why is this, who is this feeling threatened? Yep. The Nine of Cups. This is somebody, again, who thought that... I just keep hearing ex. This is somebody who your ex is dealing with. Is, or I said ill, so obviously they still dealing with this person. This is somebody your ex is dealing with. This person feel threatened by you because they see your ex as their wish fulfillment. They so they lie to this person. They they say whatever they gotta say to this person to get this person to not think of you, to not want to be with you, to not even. I don't know. They it's just like they regret throwing shit when they by themselves because I I feel like the only reason they regret it is because their life has like been turned upside down and they've been turned upside down because they were throwing magic at the wrong somebody especially if you somebody who got the whole universe back in you that's what they fucked up at that's what they fucked up at so that's why they in regret i don't feel like they have because because had you not had the universe on your side this person probably still would have been throwing magic at you you know what i'm saying especially if they thought it was working but it can't be working it's not working. The lies that used to work no longer work. Why? Again, because this person cries over you. They probably don't walked in on this ex 
you know, looking at pictures, reminiscing, talking about you, whatever the case may be, and they, they bother. And y'all not even together. Y'all don't talk. Y'all don't even want to, for that matter. They just intimidated by you simply because they know you better. They know you better. I'm not saying you better. This third party karmic know you better than them. They, they, they could, they could never compare to you, and it make them feel some type of way. Cause even though they got the person, they don't have this person on an emotional level or spiritual level. <laughs> I'm just saying. Look, and if, for some of y'all, the person done left their ass behind. That's why they hating you. Cause they feel like it's your fault. But that been coming out though. That been coming out. Look, life changes, relocation, spiritual quest. So y'all are already on y'all spiritual journey. The ex could just now be going on their spiritual quest. And their awakening, they realized that this third party was not for them. So they probably left or they're about to leave. And the third party, of course, needs somebody to blame. So the person they're going to blame is you. But y'all ain't even, y'all ain't nowhere in the picture of none of this reading. You're not. Not as far as an ex go. You're not. They just hating on you for nothing. Spiritual hater. And this came my cross. And what is, look, justice. Yeah, they, whether they know it or not, they better stop while they're ahead. Because if not, it's going to turn real ugly. It's going to turn real ugly. Because they hating on the wrong, you don't bother nobody. You don't bother nobody. With the Nine of Pentacles, you not, you single. Single and successful at that. Financially stable, very independent. Again, you done came into some type of money or you you just doing better in life. You know what I'm saying? And this person, they better watch it. Because your ancestors, the universe, they not happy right now. They not happy. But this person is bringing it on themselves because they coming for the wrong somebody, which is you. Spiritual hater. Mm, mm, mm. Can't go cups, and y'all know this my stalker. So for some of y'all, there is a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces that is hating on you spiritually because they may be like in the midst of going through some karma. I'm just saying, I don't know. Um also this could be somebody who you I mean, maybe they at one time hated on you spiritually, but you know, they your light irritated they demons. And they want to come towards you and make things right, but it's like they straddle in the fence. How do they approach you? Especially if this is an ex that walked away from you or left you. It's like they walked away because they were hating on you. And the only reason they were hating on you is because you chose to walk a different path. You you were not the same person that you were when you met this person months or years after y'all got together. And unfortunately, when you started your spiritual quest... This person couldn't go. Whether they sabotaged it or you were told to just walk away, they couldn't go. So they were hating on you for a long time. But I kind of feel like they, they, they understand it now. And they realize why you left. So they want to make it right, but mm, they don't know. For some of y'all, whoever this ex is, they in the midst of getting some karma. Jeez. And for a long time, they was mad at you because they was like, I feel like it's little king of pentacles, yep. Mm-hmm. And um, come on now, stop. King of pentacles, yep. Child. Other than y'all, when they go back, come back to this third party. This third party is the one, uh, of course, hating on you because the past person, even if you don't want this past person, the past person is in the midst of getting a divorce or leaving this other person to try and come to you. For some of y'all, they married this person. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it is what it is. So, it's a process. For some of y'all, this could be why y'all sad. This may not be for everybody. This may still be talking about this ex that you sad about. You know what I'm saying? So, they could have been in a marriage or something. And the person that they with is hating on you because the marriage is ending because this person do love you and want to be with you. They want to be with you. Now, I don't know what happened in the past to make this person go toward this other person, but they they not happy there. Queen of Pentacles. I told you they could have been married. This is somebody going through a divorce and they blaming you for the divorce. Mm -hmm. And it's this King of Cups, this Cancer Scorpio or this Pisces. They going through a divorce because they want to be with you. 
cannot make this shit up, baby, even if I wanted to. Hmm, quit playing. And water sign, won't y'all? They miss, they didn't <laughs> look nasty girl remix. They miss. They miss you being a nasty girl or a nasty boy. <laughs> As this person go through what they going through, whether it's a divorce or ending, whatever, you know, they, they, they falling on hard times. So, <sighs> um, a third party is realizing that they cannot control whoever this person is. And they even, this third party goes so far as to even kiss this person's ass, but this person don't want to have nothing to do with them. Like for real. For real, they don't. And they think by throwing magic at them or throwing magic at you is just what. That shit is, it's all backfiring. It's going to. Broke ass. Temperance. Telling you, it's temporary though. Because for a lot of y'all, this person went towards this third party thinking it was a better situation. But it wasn't. It was a lesson. It was a fucking lesson. It, look, it says higher learning too. Self, and this is a lesson where your person, so they could have fell into temptation. Uh, because it says self control. This person had to learn a lesson in controlling, you know, their temptations. You know, lust of the eyes, you know, lust of the flesh, pride of life, whatever the case, whatever was their temptation. This was a lesson. And it may have had to do with money. So they could have got with somebody because that person, you know, they were, they were, um, financially abundant with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles showing and maybe this third party thought that that was enough to keep this person but it really wasn't and the person may, your ex may have thought that this was they wishes being fulfilled them meeting somebody with money and you know they but they were miserable money i don't understand why people think if i just get some money i'm gonna be happy money don't make you happy it don't i'm just being honest queen of wands so i do feel like you know, this is you. Because remember at the beginning, the song about worth. An ex didn't know your worth. They know your shit now. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. They know your worth now. But everything happens in divine timing. Mm. Five of Swords in the reverse. Mm, yeah. This person that was superficial, materialistic, that's struggling. they like, look, I don't want to fight no more. This is somebody who could have been fighting the universe on becoming a better person, changing their life, having self-control. They they don't want to fight no more. This is somebody who's ready to surrender. Because one thing you cannot do is beat the universe. You can't beat God being God. You can't. Now that this person done fell on hard times or they slowly falling on hard times, baby, they like, look, I surrender. Look, nine of wands. <laughs> And I kind of feel like for a long time they were very defensive. They didn't want to change. They didn't want to, you know, they didn't want to take accountability. But all oh, that's changing. The universe hit this person's pockets. That's the only thing that could change this person. Taking everything away that they thought was what they loved. The, what they loved the most was money. So that's what the universe took. Seven of Wands. They blocked it. Yeah. Seven of Wands. Money has been blocked. This person ain't got nothing but time to sit and think what's going on. Because everything they try to do when it comes to money, cut off. They can't even get a loan. Mm -mm. They friends won't even get them no loan. They like, now, last, remember last time I gave you a loan? <laughs> they like, damn. Look, the moon, baby, I'm telling you. And this person trying to hide how broke they are, but they ain't going to be able to hide it too much longer. I don't know why I put my phone down here. I need to be able to see it. Hold it down. Cool the bands. They want you to hold them down. They need you to hold them down. They need you to ride for them. Okay, this might be too long. They need you to ride for them. They need your help. <laughs> they ain't telling you how much they need your help. They ain't telling you that, you know, they fell for an illusion. They thought this person was going to take care of them for the rest of their life. No. They ain't, they ain't letting you know. And they also not showing you that them being down on their luck is the reason why they're going through this change. Now, uh, yeah, stressing like a motherfucker, having sleepless nights, crying over you and shit. They should have been doing better then. But, you know, hey, everybody got their journey. This person's journey had to do with them 
not having any self control when it came to I, other people like sleeping around or fucking with other people, talking to other people, and being materialistic, the love of money. Now they crying over you, upset and sad, because they don't have access to you. Again, they don't know where you are. Ace of Wands, yep. All they sit up and think about is you being with somebody else. That's why they cry. They feel like you done started something new with somebody else. And you probably have. Look, King of Swords. A lot of y'all made a head over hard decision to cut this person off, and it is what it is. And you're not looking back. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you being, you, you standing on business. I'm going to put it like that. Authority and intellect, influential and precise, knowledgeable. This person taught you a lot. They taught you a lot. And again, you made a head over heart decision to cut this person off and keep it moving. Yeah, because at one point, you, your ass was stuck on this person. You was eight or so. You used to be stuck on this person, but you learned your lesson and you kept it pushing. And now this person is sitting up crying over you thinking that you're sleeping with somebody else. You might be. I'm just saying. It's your business. You can. They shouldn't look to a cup. Yeah, this person. That's why they crying because they feel like, but hey, this is, that's why they crying because they feel like you with somebody else. <laughs> That's what it is. They crying because they think you in another relationship. I cannot make this shit up. Three of pentacles. This person crying over you because they, they feel like you with somebody else. Nothing more, nothing less. <coughs> <coughs> Seven of Cups. And see, that's the thing. They don't know what's going on with you. And they think about you being with somebody else, being in love with somebody else, dating people. Just You you just done moved on. Look, Ten of Swords, it's over. It's over. Whatever you had with them, they know it's over. And this person is sent, sitting somewhere saying, damn, if I could do everything over, I would do this. I would do that. I would even kiss the collective ass if they just would would just say something to me, talk to me, but see, whoever this person was, they thought they could force their their uh, their mindset or their way of living on you. Like, this is somebody who thought they could control you, and they found out, like, the hard way that they couldn't. Mm -hmm. What is this? Forcer. Yeah. They, they found out the hard way. Because they may be used to forcing people or controlling other people, but they couldn't do that with you. Y'all not built the same. What else? Forcer. Why is this her? They thought they could force their way with you, but mm -mm, they can't. <laughs> they can't. Yeah, this 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 is a missed opportunity for this person. It's not in the reverse, but it's still a missed opportunity. Look, they missing out. It says missing out. Guarded, discontent. This person is not happy that you are so guarded and that they missing out on being with you. They don't know what's going on, but that's what they get for trying to force. You to, to conform to what they wanted you to conform to. You don't conform. You move on. <laughs> and <laughs> You move on. And that's what you did, Ten of Swords. You, you ain't my daddy. You ain't my mama. And you did. I feel like that's what this person wished that they could change. Them trying to force they way on, like, their, their, their addictive ways on you. Force her. Look, the emperor, and it came my cross. And baby, I'm telling you, because we already saw the empress, and it came. This person, they were very controlling, and that's why they're missing out right now. Mm -hmm. That's why they cry. This is somebody who is taking. They recognize now, had it not been for their controlling ways, and had they just. Worked with you versus working against you, they wouldn't be missing out on being with you. Maybe this person thought, I don't know what they thought, but maybe they didn't think like they had real genuine love for you or something. Maybe they just thought it was lust or something. I don't know. Because it's like they thought they could control you. They thought they could control you. Maybe this is just somebody who's used to, I was just about to say that this is somebody who's used to manipulating their way through life. And maybe in the beginning they could manipulate you, but at some point the manipulation the manipulation stopped. It, it was no longer working. What else? One more for force. It stopped working. And whatever happened happened. You you and this person went y'all separate ways. 
you went through a spiritual awakening and now you on a different path and now that you are on that path you realize this person couldn't go because they were still stuck in their old ways and now they crying look i cannot make it up nine of pentacles baby yeah this person feel like they missing out on something with you look sad hurt heartbroken i'm telling you back with playing this, this is somebody who is saying, damn, I wish I would have knew the collective work. Set him up. Oh, by Queen Naja. This person was set up. Damn, they were set up, baby. Whether they were set up literally or spiritually, they, 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 they were tested and they failed miserably. And they got to suffer the consequences. <laughs> they got to suffer the consequences. Look, Eight of Pentacles. This person had a love for money. To, they went from eight to two. Because of the person that they were with. The person that they chose. They thought this person. They thought they had made the right decision. Strength. They allowed their pride and ego. To put them in the nine of swords. Mm. Yeah. So now. They. Crying over you sad. Wondering what do they have to do. To get back in your good graces. Even if it means kissing your ass. Even if y'all don't take somebody from y'all past back. You may hear from this person. And they going to be kissing your ass. You know I mean? Whatever you want, you can have whatever you like. You yeah, can watch. Kiss it ass. Why? Because this person don't want nothing but you. Six of swords in the reverse. Please, come, baby, come back. <laughs> Any kind of fool will see. I was lost. And I just can't live without you. Baby, come back. <laughs> Look, they just want to talk. They just want to talk. Please talk to me. Please come back to me. Kiss an ass. Whatever you want. Promise I'll do it. I'm tired. This person is tired. Look, the magician. Yeah, they trying to manifest you back into their life collective. <clears throat> Baby, come back. <laughs> Baby, they try this person, this past person. They're sad over you, baby. They are trying. Quit playing. This person say, look, I learned my lesson. Please, please come back to me. Please give. Baby, this is somebody who's going to beg you for another chance collective. But can you trust it? Can you trust it? The Hierophant with the Seven of Swords. For some of y'all, this person is learning a valuable lesson in being deceitful, being a liar, being untrustworthy. This this was a hard-ass lesson for this person because they were toxic as fuck. Whoever this is, they were toxic, toxic. So this had to be a hard-ass lesson for them. It had to be. Four of Swords, the universe split this connection up, dead, because they knew you needed a rest. This person put you through a lie. <laughs> they did. But when the universe stepped in, you got that rest, you went on your spiritual journey, and now you're in a much better place, Will of Fortune. Much better place. Yeah. Look, you know your worth, and, and that's why this person about to rush in, because they want you back. Three of Cups. They want you back. They ain't showing you that. You don't see this coming. Oh, but just know. I just told you. You don't know when. You don't know where. You don't know how. But you're going to hear from this person, or you're gonna a message is going to get to you from this person. And they're going to be like, look, I know I feel... It's going to be like a real heartfelt apology. I'm not saying you have to get with that person, okay? I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is... You're going to see a side of this person that you probably thought you would never see. Mm-hmm. You're going to... You watch. And, and, and it might shock you. It might shock you. So, okay, y'all know I just redid my outfit, so I don't know what everything is. <laughs> Mm, okay, here they go. Let's get some advice for this situation. Okay. So what should what is the collective's advice when it comes to this reading? Look, financial challenges are affecting this connection. <clears throat> for for those of y'all who want a situation, you know, to, to work out between you and somebody from the past, right now it's probably not working out because this person is struggling financially, but it's a lesson. It's a lesson. So if you were to get back with this person, you would definitely have to take her in. Cause they ain't got nothing. I'm just saying. <laughs> they ain't got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Balance. See what I'm saying? 
The universe said, mm-mm. Now, a little help may be her or there, but no. One person going to be giving too much in this relationship, so. Very peaceful, Larry Jones. See what I'm saying? Right now, your life is very peaceful. Don't you want it to stay peaceful? Mm-mm. That's three. If it had been two, I'd have kept it. And y'all see, I did not look at them for a reason. So let's see. What is the collective's advice when it comes to this reason? So just know that you're right where you're supposed to be in life. And the, the universe is nine times out of ten very proud of you. Like, because you got hate coming from you from north, south, east, and west. Friends, family, people you don't even know. Exes. And, but you still moving forward. You still... Happy. Congratulations. The universe is proud of you. But they need you to know, you know, you got you got people mad because you shining. It's just, it was just your time. It was your time. So what is the collective advice when it comes to this go slow? Mm, mm, mm. For those of y'all who will be getting back with somebody from the past spirit, they're saying go slow. They're not saying you can't get with that person if you choose to do that, but just go slow. Do not rush anything because this person is still learning. You know what I'm saying? They still learning, but they ain't saying you can't fuck with this person. Just don't look. On this person is unable to give you all you deserve. Exactly. Because, again, this person is not going to be able to give to you. Like you need them to give to you. Y'all so take things slow. Let this person show you, not just tell you. Forgive them. Forgive them so you will be able to move forward and forgive yourself for allowing it. But do not rush anything with this person because if you do, you're gonna regret it. Look, it's about time. It's time to make a decide about this relationship. You're gonna have to make a decision. They said they're not going to tell you what to do. they just going to give you the tools you need so you can make the right decision for yourself. Weigh your pros and cons. Everybody can change. People change. If the universe says somebody is going to get better, the universe is telling you this person will get better. They're not saying you can't deal with them. they just saying go slow. Because right now they can't give you everything that you deserve, especially if they ain't got no money. You know what I'm saying? Not saying a relationship is just about money. <clears throat> but you don't you don't you shouldn't have to take care of a grown ass man or a grown ass woman. You shouldn't. I'm not the type of bitch that, that look for a husband or a man to take care of me. I'm a I'm gonna go out there and get it. And and one thing I do not have is respect for a female who lay up and don't do nothing and expect a nigga to take care of her. And the same with a nigga. If you can't get up and and, and y'all a team and both of y'all bring something to the table, having a child by somebody is not bringing something to the table. Period. I don't care what nobody say. That's my opinion and I'm sticking to it. But the best relationships are relationships when people build together. Because <laughs> when one, one person doing more than the other one, the one that's doing more feel like they have control. And they do. So I'm just saying. This person, spirit is saying, I'm not telling you you can't fuck with them. Just take things slow. Look, okay, see, you did the work. So abundance flows to you now. So you get you you being blessed. Again, I said they they proud of you. Because you did exactly what you were supposed to do when you were supposed to do it. It may have taken you a little while because you could have been going through a cycle with somebody, but you finally learned your lesson. You've done the work. So now everything that you want, you about to get. But if it's a past person that some of y'all want, and it is, just take things slow. Get to know this person all over again, okay? Don't rush nothing. Don't rush nothing. You don't have to. Because if it's if it's meant to be, it's going to work regardless. You, just, cause you ain't got to rush. If it's meant to be, it's going to work out regardless. So what you going to do? Barbecue and beer, dude. Huh? You keep talking about you want the person. You keep crying about them, thinking about them. What you going to do? I'm not going to even read the goddamn card. But uh, some of y'all already knew that this was what you were dealing with. And those are the hardest connections. Y'all know I say it all the time. I don't, don't want your twin. Do not want your twin. It's continual lessons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the 
the universe is saying for whoever this is, whoever resonating with this, and if you know for a fact you're dealing with a twin, this relationship can stand the test of time. But the first message that came out was go slow. You're going to have to take time to get to know this person. The real person. Not the person that you thought you knew. Okay? Not the one you thought you knew. Look, Spirit said everything happened for a reason. And I said that way at the beginning. <clears throat> Whatever happened between you and this person or these people, it happened for a reason. But now that the lesson is being learned because now this person is surrendering, y'all will be able to move forward. Because that's what was stopping forward movement. This person unhealed wounds. <clears throat> but everything happened for a reason and, you know, you did what you were supposed to do. You pulled back. You start focusing on you. You pour all that energy into yourself and the universe is proud because you chose to lean on them. You didn't You didn't try to... Uh, you didn't try to do this. You didn't try to... I don't know what I'm trying to say. You didn't try to... Uh, <clears throat> I want to use the right word because I don't want to use the word where it sounds like I'm saying y'all was controlling the universe because can't nobody control the universe. But I kind of feel like at some point you thought you could fix this person. I'm going to say it like that. You thought you could fix this person. <clears throat> so you, you went through some cycles. But it wasn't until you realized that it couldn't be you. It had to be the universe. And you decided to let it go is when is once it was able to change and be turned around. Because Unless you let, when you come in contact with a twin, and unless you go your separate ways to learn the lesson separately, y'all not gonna be able to come together. So as long as you and this person were still together, y'all just gonna go through a cycle. It was when you chose to let them go. Now again, if you not trying to get back with your person, fine. But it looks like this. I mean, a past person, fine. I'm not telling you to, <clears throat> but it kind of looked like this. That's what this reading talking about. Somebody who want to be with their twin, want to be with a past person because the Six of Cups is here, still feeling some type of way because, you know, y'all not together or you not with that person, and it's cool. I don't care what people in the comments say. I don't. It, it ain't nothing wrong with you still loving somebody from your past or loving somebody that you done went through some things with. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Your journey is not their journey, and their journey is not yours. Okay. <clears throat> so do not let nobody in the motherfucking comments deter you from being with somebody that you say you love. Because don't nobody know your relationship, but God. Them pe these people you meet on YouTube in these comments, y'all don't know them people. Them people can tell you one thing and be the whole motherfucking bobblehead the whole time. You don't know. You don't know. The bobblehead going to disguise themselves too. And make you think. Y'all know I say it all the time. The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And they will come to you on your level or at least pretend. They'll come dressed up like an angel and talk to you. But that's why Spirit said you got to have a relationship with God for yourself. Because <laughs> when you got a relationship with God for yourself, when them fake motherfuckers come to you, you're going to see that shit. You're going to see it. Because mm -hmm. they're going to make sure you do. Because you're on a different level. You're on a different path. <laughs> and shit, you chosen. So, mm -mm. but you have to remember the lessons. Don't give people chances. Y'all know me. I don't get no fucks. Fuck them people. When a person show you who they are the first time, drop it and move on. <clears throat> if it's meant to be, it'll catch up with you. But that's just where I'm at in my life. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what people, family, anybody. Even denim and cash. Shit. I'm just saying. But yeah. Some of y'all have done the work. So I do see a twin flame connection coming together. The connection can work. But you have to take things slow. And then just know that there is a. <laughs> a, a, a third party karmic bobblehead. Who is threatened by you. And they only threatened by you. Because they can't be you. You outshine them. But y'all knew that already. Because they've been coming out in the readings. For weeks. But I'm going to end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If so, I ask that you hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, share the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that now. We'd love to have you. If you'd like to donate to my channel, get your girl a gift because y'all know I love surprises. <laughs> um, or if you just want to chit chat or whatever, information is down below. And I think my email address is... No, it ain't. It ain't. But anyway, bye y'all. <laughs>